Imagine a place where one of nature's most fearsome predators thrives not in a remote jungle or swamp but in the shadow of a nuclear power plant. Sounds like science fiction, right? But this is real. A population of crocodiles is booming near a nuclear facility, and scientists are asking why. Is this a bizarre accident? A consequence of radiation? Or has nature found a way to adapt in the most unexpected place? Nuclear power plants are known for controversy radiation fears, environmental concerns, and strict security. Yet, in multiple locations around the world, something strange is happening. Wildlife, especially crocodiles, are thriving in these areas. Crocodiles are apex predators, but their numbers have declined in many places due to habitat loss. What we're seeing here is a paradox the very place you'd expect them to struggle. They're actually flourishing. But why? What is it about these nuclear plant zones that make them so appealing to these ancient reptiles? One of the key factors is heat. Nuclear reactors generate an immense amount of energy, and that heat needs to be managed. The plant releases warm water into nearby rivers or reservoirs as part of its cooling system. This creates an environment where crocodiles, especially hatchlings, thrive. Warm water speeds up metabolism, allowing crocodiles to grow faster and increasing their chances of survival. It also provides ideal nesting conditions, giving hatchlings a head start in life. In colder environments, crocodiles struggle to maintain body heat. But here, it's like a spa all year round. Of course, anytime people hear nuclear plant and wildlife, one question comes up, are these crocodiles being affected by radiation? The idea of radioactive supercrocs sounds like something from a horror movie. But so far, scientists have found no genetic mutations or signs of radiation-related effects in these crocodile populations. Studies show that the radiation levels in these areas are not high enough to cause mutations. Instead, the crocodiles are simply taking advantage of a unique, human-altered environment. Another surprising benefit for these crocodiles? Safety from humans. Most nuclear plants are heavily guarded and have restricted access. That means no poachers, no habitat destruction, and no human interference. In the wild, crocodiles face constant threats from hunting and habitat destruction. But here, in the shadow of a nuclear facility, they have found an unintentional refuge. And this isn't an isolated case. Similar reports have emerged in other places where nuclear plants operate near water sources. From Florida's Turkey Point nuclear plant to power stations in Russia and France, crocodiles, alligators, and other wildlife are making a comeback in these restricted zones. This tells us that nature is more adaptable than we often give it credit for. Even in human-modified environments, life finds a way. Could nuclear plant zones become unexpected wildlife sanctuaries? Some scientists think so. While these areas were never designed for conservation, they have unintentionally created safe havens for species struggling elsewhere. It raises an interesting ethical question, should we leave these habitats undisturbed, or should we actively use industrial sites to help conservation efforts? Some researchers are now exploring ways to design industrial zones that intentionally support wildlife while maintaining human safety. Nature has an incredible ability to adapt. While the idea of crocodiles thriving near nuclear plants may seem bizarre, it's a testament to how life can find opportunity even in the most unexpected places. But this also raises big questions how will future development impact wildlife? Can we learn from these accidental sanctuaries to better protect nature? And should we rethink how we coexist with the creatures that have been here long before us? What do you think? Are these nuclear crocodiles proof of nature's resilience or a warning sign of human impact? Let us know in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe for more deep dive wildlife mysteries.